And, you know, the whole experience was really traumatic. I mean, I went through just a myriad of, of different things. I traveled to different places, and I was, like, down in this dungeon, and there were these torches in the fire, and it was just really dark and bizarre. And I remember sitting, like, on, like, a, a bench or a chair, and I wasn't tied up, but I couldn't move. But there was, like, a light underneath me. And so all I could do and think to do to get out of there was just say, God, Jesus, Mom. And I said my wife's name, my four sons. And I kept repeating it, God, Jesus, Mom. My wife, my mom, my four boys. And out of nowhere, it was just like I just, like, teleported out of there. But it just kept going and going and cycling. I mean, in total, I was in the hospital for 85 days. So between day 40 and I woke up October 16, I did not return home until November 20th, the Sunday before Thanksgiving in 2021. Well, since awakening and since my MBE, one thing that I started to notice, I've always been spiritual and happy with instincts, but my spiritual gifts definitely increased. It was almost like my third eye was just on a whole nother frequency of level. And I could see not just the planets and both chart placement, it's almost like I could visualize your life as I'm looking at your chart, looking at a planet in the fifth house or seventh house. It's like I get little glimpses of you in action, and it's made my interpretation that more accurate, and I think divinely guided as well. I'll tell you, since um, all that I've gone through, all that we in the world have gone through in the last few years, we are at a time where we're going through a huge shift for the Pisces age, and we're now entering into the age of the world. Pluto is in Capricorn, and we'll finish up two more times, but it's going to end the quarter, so January 21st, 2024, and then we'll retrograde one more time between September and